milk bath, nigga. Something like a, a asshole milk lady, bath, right? yeah. Yeah. Something like that. That's, that's you right there. You mean right here? Yeah. 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 At least tell an old lady what's wrong with your stomach if you don't want to go to the doctor, bro. Bro, I did, bro. And she told me to come back, bro. But I was nervous. Come back? <laughs> Why she? <laughs> I was nervous, bro. Like, like she did the, uh, the colonoscopy. You got to go. Back. And you ain't going to get the results? No, nah, nigga. Nervous, at the bro. doctor's office? Yeah, bro. Now, see, I've done that for STDs, but not... <laughs> no, because, I see, I'm a real nigga. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what I got. Hey, nigga. I heard they'll call you. I know, I know. <laughs> they get you off the streets. Uh, they'll get you off the streets nah, if you out there doing something. Them niggas call me. I can't bang. ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> I know this call. Uh, I click this. Bitch, I got a family. Right. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Send the pills. Send the pills. Nah, I'm serious <laughs> shit, though. Come on, bro. Yeah, I'm coming, bro. Pause. Call them tomorrow. Hey, like, man. hey, man, I'm sorry. I was yeah, out there. Shit in that hole. He ain't doing shit. Yeah, man, because <laughs> otherwise, he ain't doing shit. <laughs> ain't doing shit. <laughs> you let them niggas dig in your booty for nothing. <laughs> That's ah, <laughs> That means you like it. <laughs> it was like butt You just, just like butt like 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 bro. Uh, whatever. They went in there. Like they finger popped you, bro. They gave me some medicine for what I was going through at the time. You know what I'm saying? You said you had a colonoscopy and didn't go get the results. Yeah. That's, nah, bro. They they gave me the medicine for the flare up. No, listen. It did. It stopped the flare. Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? I'm time. just saying. Flare up. If you don't get them results, bro, yeah. you just let them flare play up. in your booty for no reason at all. Up your butt. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't get that far, but went up to your cervix. No, bro, I swear to God. Bro. See your cervix? <laughs> that shit went up. I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. She's that pole not going to get up in your. No, <laughs> yeah. it's a camera. Nah, but it goes through your they, butt up to your they, stomach. If though. they go in there and find a yeah. cervix, that's a, a, whole right, different, a whole different issue. <laughs> that, shit, that, that, that bitch went a good 11 inches. 16 and pregnant. That shit went a good 11 inches inside. To get to your stomach? <laughs> One, finger, two finger. My stomach. One finger, two finger. One finger, two finger. All right, so maybe they I didn't get a colonoscopy. They just put it in your butthole looking the rim. <laughs> nah, bro, I swear to God, bro. Uh, colonoscopy is your stomach, Bro, she nigga. put the baby head camera up there. And nah, the baby it. ass camera. Yeah. Nah, it, Y'all YouTube colonoscopy right it now. It ain't no black magic. It ain't <laughs> no 4K, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a cannon. Did you hold your butt open? Yeah, he did. Jim Carrey is your tour relax, bro. It's no way to relax. She when something's relax. going in your rectum, bro. <laughs> but don't they put As the jail a, stuff on? Nah, it was a camera. Oh, no. They rolled you. They rolled you. They had to jail you. I don't know what she did behind me, no bro. Little I was just they praying. didn't spit on it first. They didn't. <laughs> they done numbed it. Well, bro, <laughs> they done numbed my boy. He said, I ain't feeling it. You, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't hit you with the hot toy. You went nah, through bro. all that, but you don't want to know what the. If, I just put whiskey on my ass when it started burning. Whiskey? Bro. It's just like, it's an old. Cowboy, you old nigga. You method, nigga. Put whiskey you on your booty. Anything, whiskey, ginger ale, cranberry juice. <laughs> ginger ale. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't feel it. That sounds you know like saying? a nigga who'd have been drunk up. By the time I get here, I don't feel it. <laughs> boy, this is how we <laughs> start the episode. This is white boy fraternity. Right. Holes up your butt. Go ahead, chug, chug. No, chug. And first of all, first of all, there's only one hose at the party. Right. I don't everybody else drink. Right. <laughs> they ain't share butts. Oh, anyway, man, God. start the show, Kamal, because Remo is Man, tripping. More Than Culture is the brand. It's the More Than Culture show. Kamal, the secret genius. Remo Rod. Tyler Chronicles. Hey, man, we got a real special guest. Returning brother. Yeah. Hey, this brother have right returning. here, man. We don't have that many returns Culture because, cousin. you know what I'm saying, this brother right here got to be family. Mm-hmm. Super creative. Done a lot. Still mm-hmm. doing mo. Mm-hmm. On every show you done seen on every network. I'm on every show niggas have not seen. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Get it right. Bro, this niggas on ABC, NBC, CBS, Come Fox. On. Every channel you grew up with. Come on, bro. Only had Voted for channel. Herschel Walker, but didn't You's a Get goddamn awesome. lie. You's a Herschel disrespectful Julia nigga. Walker, uh. You's a disrespectful That's why your ass shitty. <laughs> Oh, that's why, why you walk around here with a shitty, shitty ass. But shitty you've been through it before. So, you know what I'm saying? We I did, did not vote no Herschel Walker. Right. Uh, uh, when I was starting off, this brother right here really, really was popping off, um, was working with Will Packer, mm-hmm. and now he's working with... Uh, want to turn your phone on? Okay. <laughs> Doing the intro and shit, man. I was phone on the Without scene. further ado, man, we got Justin Hires in the building, man. Yes, sir. Back and in the culture. Out deniming you today. Denim down, he is, bro. Hey, man, I got. I knew you were going to denim today. See, he didn't. I, I, I got to add on some. He had some, some on, but then he took a shit. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> he had a chance. He said, shit, 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 sh
No, I was never that bad. <laughs> you thought about Goodness it though. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Nigga had a my great shit. jersey sweat. Yo, my <laughs> stomach was still G. I had a still stomach until probably like 24. So did the issue happen when you went vegetarian? Nah, hell no, no, no. That's why I went vegetarian for real. I was oh, like, bro, this enough, enough is enough. All right. You know what I'm saying? My diet looked too meaty. Yeah. <laughs> Dookie. Okay. I shit it on my, myself in school. For real? Oh, man. Yeah, what grade? Man. Like second, Ooh. second or third, because my bowels weren't moving. That's you late. know when you don't doodle for one day and your parents think mm, something wrong right. with you? They're like, oh, Lord, baby, you ain't shit in weeks. Yeah. Oh, I was like, it was a day. You know, like, oh, she gave me, <laughs> she gave me X-Lax, you know, that chocolate shit? Oh, she gave you that. X-Lax, milk of magnesia. And then sent you to school? Fucking mineral oil. <laughs> Bye, nigga. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Get on that damn bitch, up, baby. <laughs> and, and, and built all up in me. That's the set. So oh, I'm, sit, I'm sitting in class. And I said, ah, ah, I gotta use the bathroom. Yes. He was like, go. So I, I'm running. I'm holding. Oh, God. I'm running. I'm running. Hold him a tummy. <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> seven. Yeah. It's a tummy back then when right. you're seven. You ain't so got I'm, no stomach. I'm running. I'm holding my tummy. <laughs> bruh, when I tell you, bruh, bloop, bloop, bloop. I got to the bathroom. When I tell you, soon as air hit my butthole, skabow, nigga, I didn't make it to the toilet. You know how you gotta, you gotta. You took your, you took your pants down before you was over the toilet. That's That's, how bad it was. I was hit the back of the toilet. (laughs) The second, third grade, soon as it hit the door, hit the rim. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, guys. Short. And it hit the rim. (laughs) Airball, dookie. Short. It was an airball. It was all brick. Bro, I shit it everywhere Ah. but the toilet, bro. Uh, I shit it everywhere. Now here's the worst part about it. My mom, I went to the school that my mom was the principal at, right? Mm. Oh my so God. I don't know how I must have went out the bathroom and like, somebody please get my mama. And so, <laughs> so they went and got my mama. Hell nah. My mama had to call the janitor. The janitor had to clean up all this shit. Oh. <laughs> I felt so bad, bro. Oh. This man, and I'm watching this grown man. I know this man thinking, nigga, I should have graduated from college. <laughs> I know he was thinking something. <laughs> I'll tell you what he's thinking now. He didn't see you on TV like, you know I had to clean that boy. <laughs> shit, right? right. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, boy. Fucking over talking about MacGyver. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give uh, you a mission. You need to fix his ass, bro. Boy, shit, everyone but the toilet. That's right. I bro. did. It was tough times. That wasn't your fault, though, bro. They didn't sit you to school with yeah, all that. Yeah, that was a setup. Yeah, like, a big setup, bro. You, yeah. you remember, uh, this is a memory of school, uh, elementary school, especially for me. Mm. I mean, not for me, but I remember when niggas used to get sick, they used to spray this little powder. Like when niggas throw up. Oh yeah, bro, that's the the most disgusting mm-hmm. smell. They used to spray powder. It was like yeah. sprinkle powder on like throw up or oh, like. Oh, I anything. remember that. Yeah, like remember that shit? I do remember oh, that. Oh my god, yeah. bro, they used to sprinkle that doo doo seat, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Had to let it dry up. You know, I, was jan- I told you I was a janitor one summer. You right? kid, you clean doo doo too? Yeah, nah, I, I ain't never cleaned doo. You ain't never had to clean the doo. Nah, hell nah, man. We ain't had no use. You was a janitor at the school. <laughs> Yeah, summer school. I was That's where you lost your beard at, right there. <laughs> <laughs> the chemicals. How'd you get that job? Was that like How old was research? you, girl? You was a teenager? I was 11th grade going to 12th. Yeah, 11th grade going to 12th. I can't believe I never told you so. 11th grade going to 12th. And my, um, it was a summer job. It was one of the jobs you signed up for. And I was like, all right, I'll be a school janitor. There's some hoes at the school. Whatever, I'll do that. Hold on, what? He was 17, he was in though. He was in high school, school at the time. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I said, right, bro, right, yeah. Yeah, said, yeah, I got you, bro. I ain't gonna let it. 11 to 12 just went right over his head. You ain't gonna meet some hoes in there. You some hoes in high school. Yeah. You could be some hoes now, I'm joking. All these little hoes. And this was summer school, so it was all the dumb hoes, too. So I was like, man. I and them go hoes is going. Man. You can't be the dumb ho. And you know, Bruh. first couple of days, it's just cool. I'm sweeping. I'm taking out trash or whatever. But then, shit, we, it's, we get to field, nigga. Man. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> what, what you mean? Like, yo, they, the janitor, you Pulling never think about it. The janitor has to take care of everything at the school, including the football field. Okay. You don't have to cut the grass, bro. Bro, I had to weed whack a hill. <laughs> oh, my God. I had to weed whack the, niggas, you wouldn't the hill that nigga. niggas run on when they come back from uh for camp that hill where everybody every bro, school on has, probation bro bro pretty much i was a good yeah, that's kid, a though. punishment was, it was a job yeah. that's a punishment yeah right i was getting that's, paid but i got out there i did that and that was the that's day I community quit service i bought fleas home to my grandma mm, no. can't do that she was biting her and she was screaming and shit and i was like well can't go back there oh lord baby yeah <laughs> was in the bathroom like, ah oh lord baby ah. you done brought home something we can't get rid of baby <laughs> Fleas hard to get rid of, Fleas boy. Fleas and bed bugs in a black person house, Man, boy. Man, fleas you know, hard to get rid of. Boy, that we had a dog back in the day. Dog. And we let my dog, yeah, we, we, te- we went out of town. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we let my dog stay with some white people. 
man. And we had him, and he was an in house dog. He was a house nigga. He was a house dog. <laughs> <laughs> so they let him roam around. You know, we let him free. We let him go. Oh, and so that that whole weekend, this nigga ain't never been at time. Nigga going frolicking and all the time. Bro, when I tell you he came home with so many fleas, bro, we right. had to put him in the tub. I'm talking about they were bouncing off. We had to, we almost Ooh. had to drown this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we had to soak him in the water and watch the damn fleas like drown the fleas. Like, oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, bro. Watch the fleas drown. You know, black people don't be getting all their shots for their dogs either. You know what I'm saying? It's true. They be like, he's yeah. going to be in the house. Bro, I had an outside dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, outside yeah, dog. Yeah, outside most, dog. most black people dogs are outside That's true. Dog. That's true. We I was just, true. Yeah. yeah. It's it's especially. I had some white friends in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, when white, white friends <laughs> come around when you grow up in an all black situation, they fuck shit up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing, bro. Like the first time I had um, an egg McMuffin was with a white person. The first time I had uh, cream cheese was at a white household. But that shit was amazing. Playboy magazine. Mm-hmm. White person. Mine's a white, white person. person. Yeah, yeah, IBS yeah, started. Yeah, so wait a minute. A, a, a tree house. White I've never had seen a treehouse in person. Hey, yeah. I've, I've never been inside a treehouse either. Never. Uh, That's what my, play black, my black friend had a treehouse. Oh, okay. What? Yeah, yeah. Shout out Devron, man. He I, he might watch. But yeah, Devron had a Shout out to Dev. Yeah, man. Hey, I had a friend who had a puzzle room. This nigga was too rich. I'm like, bitch, how man. you get a puzzle room? What is that even? What is what that? that? Mean? Like, nigga, he just had room to do puzzles. Rooms where he did puzzles and like once he completed oh, them. Oh, nigga, I did too. My bedroom. No, <laughs> no, no, right. I bought the no, puzzle no, in there. And that shit was prestige. Like, okay, Y'all want to okay, come to my puzzle room? Just walk they on the did. side. Don't touch anything. This is a collector piece. Like, boy, you look all, you know, you This know. your homeboy? At the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time. Yeah. I'm named Weldon. Look him up on Facebook. Yeah. Just claim nah. that nigga. His name's nah. what? Weldon. Oh, no. You it, can't it, have a homeboy. Did boy. any of y'all have a white friend back in the day that y'all lost touch with? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, where, yeah, where they at? Damn, I should I don't know his name, though, because, y'all, you know, you get white people with a nickname when they hang with black people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Our um, cornbread chicken shit. Cornbread chicken wow. shit. I feel like somebody said that to a white dude on a movie, and then I said that to him, and then it became his name. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know. They <laughs> like shit like that. Yeah. It. I'm no, no. It. I'm tripping. White bread chicken shit. You know? Oh, okay. Right, that makes white sense. bread that makes chicken sense. shit. It was his name. I think his real name is Benji. And then we called him Chris Mullen when we found out he could play basketball. So. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But white boys will never get their name when you hang around black people. Right. Oh, oh, hell no. Nah. My homeboy, uh, Ricky Bishop, bro. You know what I'm saying? He, he He's a producer. He, he sound like Bishop. he say nigga around niggas. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Ricky Bishop <laughs> he, say nigga around niggas. He's the only white dude Whoa. that Rock. is cooling that day. <laughs> he's the only Come white on, dude. Come on, man. Come on. You want to meet. You want to meet, man. That a, that a nigga would... <clears throat> A nigga would him saying it, but he never did. You accept oh, yeah. it. I do it too. Well, He's searching Dr. Umar Jim right now. This nigga is tripping. The what the fuck did you just say? You I'm, actually made it worse than I thought you was going to make it. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I think it would have been better off if you said, yeah, he say nigga, as opposed to niggas would let him say nigga. Yo, like, niggas, a- niggas would be that oh, too. Come bro. on, Not man. me, not me, bro. We all got the white friend. We when when you go to private like, school. Come on, I ain't going to let you niggas do this to me today. <laughs> Not today, man. <laughs> Come on, man. You talking about you got there right. We let these white boys say nigga. That's great. Uh, Fucking Chris Rock, bro. Not, thanks. Man. I, damn, I forgot who it was that caught Ryan homeboy before I caught him. You know Austin? Ryan Davis homeboy? And, and, um, he was I, well, did did they do a podcast at one point? They were doing a podcast. Yeah, yeah, okay. He looked white as shit. Yeah. But he said nigga. Right. Yeah. Uh, and some, I, I forgot who yeah, I forgot who said it to him before. He was like, nah, I'm black. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> we had no uh, fucking idea. He's a logic he, nigga. He looked like Tyler. He's a here, he's a logic. Oh, he's what? a logic nigga. You yeah, know logic. logic. <laughs> yeah. Because logic looked white, the rap, yeah. the rapper. Yeah. But he oh, black. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, 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 it tripped me out, man. That shit was I was like, oh shit. Still don't accept it. Wait a minute. You know, you know when you white when you black the Nah, he handled it like he was black. Oh, okay. He was like, nah, I'm black. Oh shit, he said it in a way that I was like, damn, you probably what? black. Jesus. <laughs> that's Ricky, that's, that's Ricky. Ricky. No, that's yeah. that bullshit though. Because what if it's yeah, just a white man. dude saying nigga and he ain't really black though? What if it's just a white dude like, no, I'm black and we just supposed to believe this motherfucker? Like, oh, I, I mean, he said it. Man, I, I mean, I just put I put that on Ryan's back. Like, he, if he's been carrying it, he must know, know already. So it was like, because he was saying it in front of him too. So I felt like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is nah, what it is. Nigga, I need verification, nigga. I need your 23. <laughs> hey, me. but look though. No, hey, I don't care, man. If you tell me you black, then you black. Fuck yeah, <laughs> if you say you black and you got down, you balling with him. He crossed yeah. niggas up and shit. And is, I think it's like, dangerous to black. tell a nigga you black and you ain't. Nigga, if Hell you white, yeah. if you white, 
I mean this shit. If you white and you say you black, nigga, I need to see you dunk from the free throw line. <laughs> with dance. Your, That's no, so racist. With your dick so out. Racist. No, with your dick out. Whoa. Whoa. I know you got dirty. Yeah, I said it. Wow. Yeah, I said it. God damn it. We all got people. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Is that your type of podcast? Oh, you know what you think, Jack? Yeah. Really yeah. Say, Jack? <laughs> yeah. I would, I would, I would put the dicks up, I Louis. would Tyler now. <laughs> if you black, you black if you say you. Yeah, if nigga. that's what you gotta do, then I'm just gonna yeah. have to take put your, your whole word dick out. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna have to take your word for it. If that's the test. Come on, man. That's not yeah. me, nigga. If a motherfucker dunk with his dick out, that's very white of him. <laughs> that's very white. Jesus. Last it, man, white boy over there dunking butt naked, man. I don't know what the fuck going on, man. Hell nah. Well, good. Then we got you then, nigga. If you actually do it, if you actually follow through with it, then we got you. Hell you ain't nah. really black then, nigga. Man, hey, boy, you done seen too much of Hollywood, it. bro. <laughs> fuck out of here, boy. What's God going on in the it. industry, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> so you were born and raised in Atlanta, huh? <laughs> so you're from Florida, correct? Lord, I know Atlanta. Oh, Florida, from Atlanta. Oh, Florida. yeah. Florida, man. St. Petersburg. Oh, St. Pete. But that's how I met Will Packer, though. In right. Florida? Yeah, Florida. Yeah, we're from, from the same Atlanta. hometown. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why we, he repped the, the Buccaneers. Uh, so oh, he, uh, okay. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I thought it was the fam connection. Yeah. No, no, no. I what y'all working on now? Uh, well, I mean, I, I just did have bait, too. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. You know so, 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 you smoke? I don't. Nah, I, I didn't. Nah, I didn't. They never asked me Let either me if I. I don't. Right. Right. But my, you want white people to know what they did? But hey, here, smoke here, on half here, Are you black? Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I dunk with my dick out. <laughs> now, I don't know why I can get too much black in that. Dunking with my dick out from the, from, from the goddamn uh, free point line. So. <laughs> the free point line. <laughs> I, 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 the free throw the line. Spiritual athletics. <laughs> <laughs> I dunk with my dick out. <laughs> the free point line. I ain't going to never know where you jump from. <laughs> See, <laughs> where the free point line? You can tell me what that is. Oh, yeah, I believe. Mean, <laughs> I come what? No, 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 <laughs> nah, so I, I did. I don't smoke. My home, my cousin, my cousin, he helped me come up with the idea. We was kicking around ideas, and uh, he's he's in, you know. Mm-hmm. So he 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 was my person, my go-to person. It's legal now. You I know. Like, like, is it legal in uh, all? Let me protect my cousin. Like, I, 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 you know, I ain't trying to. You, you got know, a heroin right, right here. here. <laughs> <laughs> you can say smoke is you here. No, my. Oh no, I can smoke shit. <laughs> no, we want you to post it. Uh, uh so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you think we would? We got ideas. About? So, uh, so yeah, so so he helped me with it uh, when it came up with the original idea, but I I wrote it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, yeah, man. So we just shot that. They just finished filming it, and the director. Said he happy with it, you know. What oh, I'm saying? Yes, uh, it's Dave Chappelle. He said he came up with the original idea. In your face, nigga! Let me tell you something. Stop the nigga saying half too, and he did it. I still baked it. I did it. Now nah, you mean like somebody, somebody should do a half baked too, and then y'all had y'all's plot for it? Is what you mean? Say that again. So you like you saying you came up with the original idea, but it already was a movie. So you was like, let's do half baked too. Would you have your original plot? So for this it? what this what it was universal. Wanted to do a half bait too, Copy. and so they reached out to different people's managements and companies and like that. I was like, "Who's the good? Who's the like right. writer that can write this?" And, and so, don't smoke. <laughs> and don't smoke. Yeah. And so, <laughs> and so me. But I was telling you, fire my agent. Like, yeah. I was that guy. Yeah, y'all could have called me. <laughs> me. So, so I hate the hate, but let me do it. <laughs> Quit this one smoking movie. So right. and my, you got hold on. You got the nigga that don't smoke. <laughs> That's Hollywood, man. That's Hollywood. I'm so proud of you. But my cousin, my cousin, that, got it. that's all that's he knew. That's how you sold it. That, that, no, my cousin is thorough. My, my cousin is thorough. You, you can't say his name? What's going on? My cousin said, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Cedric K. Moore. Cedric K. Moore. There you go. Yeah. He's like, What's the social? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say where you live? Damn, C- bro. That's crazy. Tampa. Tampa. You from Tampa. Address like? Right. Social security number. You know what I'm saying? Data birth. You know, the last four digits of his credit card is, you know. And he done with his dick. And he done with his dick. So, <laughs> I can't even with my dick in my head. <laughs> and she got oh, this good trouble. Right. Too. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Be cool. So, so we pitched. So, so me and a bunch of me and a bunch of other writers like pitched whatever I idea was. No, and sorry, then, it's my dime. You good, bro? Yeah, right, bro. You okay? 
That's how his hair grow. That's how his hair grow when he started coughing like that. Checking on you, bro. Yeah, dog. I ain't wanted to talk. That that sound like that sound like COVID and herpes simplex. That's herpes. 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 So. So yeah, so me and a bunch of other writers pitched our ideas. They like my idea the best. There you go. That's all that wow. was. Come on, people need to know that because people crazy. don't know how shows get picked up sometimes. That is a that is a different way. Yeah, but it is a way. Yeah, you know man. So that's how that happened. And then yeah, Good so they agency, get shot. That, that ain't gonna like, lie, bro. To you might be one to remake Gods right now. I mean, you have remade some of the classics. Mm. I call myself the Reboot King. Ooh, the okay. Reboot King. The Reboot King. I like, King. I like you know that. I'm saying MacGyver. Uh, Rush Hour. Half Bake, Rush Half Hour. Twenty One Jump Street. Twenty One Jump Street. I didn't and I did Harold and Kumar, the, the animated series. It never came out. Though. Damn. Oh, man. Y'all was Harold and Kumar, like you were the voices. Yeah. Of, yeah. That's I, dope, though. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. Damn. So, How many things have you done that's never came out? Can you count? I'm at four. Honestly, three, maybe. Okay. Three. I did I a pilot one. for MTV. Like, three months being in L.A., I had booked this pilot for MTV. Uh-huh. And that shit ain't come out. Boom. And then I did another pilot that was trash. That didn't come out. Mm-hmm. I did some stuff for CBS. Like one or two, maybe so maybe about four or five. Okay, shit, that's eight. But you nah, know. hell yeah, keep but people gotta know. Shit. People gotta yeah. know that shit because all your shit ain't gonna hit. It is not gonna hit. Yeah. You know, you just sometimes got... you showing up for the ne- <coughs> excuse me for the next job. That's you know a what fact. Saying? It's like okay, this shit didn't work out, and then somebody else that saw you fuck with your producer, right, or mm-hmm. whatever it is, like nah, you know what? I work with this dude. On his other pilot that wasn't shit, he'll be good for this. Right. One, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, he like, cause I got my own shit. And this ain't shit either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just jump from shit to shit. The shit, the shit. Trying to make it, from sugar. But, yep. but even like half day too. That took two years to get made though mm-hmm. because COVID hit. That's what they don't understand. Yeah. Well, it takes COVID time hit. to do this shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how long did it end up? How long in terms of start to finish the film? And so y'all started before COVID stopped and then started again. So or? I submitted the first draft. Literally like February 2020. Ooh. And then they were supposed to make it 2020. COVID hit. Then they said, we're going to make it 2021. They did it. Mm-hmm. And, then another, and then they switched directors. And then Mike Titus ended up directing. That's who directed uh, Marlon Wayne's movie. So like A Haunted House and okay. Sex Tuplets yeah. and all. He directed oh. all those. So he ended up uh, directing it. That's fire. And so, yeah, 2020 came around. And it was finally like, all right, we finally go make it. And so we shot it down in Baton Rouge. I did a little cameo in it. Okay. You know, so. They got a release date for it? I think 420 next year. Let's go, man. You know 2023, 420, man. Oh, 2020, 2023. Oh, come on, man. You got to have an Atlanta premiere, too, now. Nah, I know you're going to sure. have the L.A. one. But I'm going to ask them about that. You should, nah, man. It's you the should, makeup. Because, yeah, it's I mean, hey. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it is, when you asked earlier, it is decriminalized in our county. It is. Now. It is. Yes, sir. Oh, when did that? That just happened? Nah. nah. It's been a few years. Yeah. yeah. Like before COVID. And, and on some real shit, uh, uh, Warnock just made an alliance with uh, Jamal Bryant, so they're going to start selling weed at New Birth mm. starting next Sunday. Day. You lie. <laughs> nah, you on some real shit though, Jamal Bryant did just get on the podcast with Rashawn Ali. Shout out to Rashawn Ali. Dude. But he Shout was saying he's looking for the dudes that's coming in smelling like weed weeds. because weeds. 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 Sound like a lot of loud. Smelling like weeds. Because he wants to start uh, you know, our own weed farm because you know, now that you're able to grow and make money off of it, and he wants to be able to get in on that business and he wants to use the people that know about it that yeah. are in his church. So it made sense. Because you know Newburgh has like one of the biggest land, uh, yeah, that's what they one of the biggest land holders, yeah, in the southeast as far as churches. Weed on that land, boy. So, Latonia, Latonia weeds, mm-hmm. Latonia weeds. <laughs> 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 So I mean, look, I had to, I go. Had to, I had to. Uh, smoking some sativa and reading the good book. Some of that Holy Ghost. Come on now. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Let me tell you what, I ain't smoking. No <laughs> motherfucking Newberg. You don't want no Newberg? Ah, no Newberg. I ain't fish? smoking on no Eddie Love. <laughs> ah, come on, man. He come to church with I his know, bro. That, <laughs> you don't want to smoke dunking with your dick. Talk about dunking with your dick out. That was a <laughs> tournament, man. <they had. laughs> It's a dunk with your dick out tournament. Not, Sorry. Not the, not the dunk contest. <laughs> I got five balls. I just want who Man, I know y'all got good. a lot of fans. Y'all, y'all got a lot of fans. Yes, I just sir. want somebody to draw the silhouette of the dude. No. <laughs> we don't Send want to anybody Hires. to do Send that. Justin Hires. Hires, bro. Yeah. Go to his YouTube, Justin Hires TV. Y'all don't want to see this. Y'all don't want to see this gentleman with the. Listen, you more culture is the brand. It's the more culture. Restart the show. Right. Hey, so uh, I think we talked about this last episode, um, but how was social media an influence on your career? Like, were you like, did you first started writing when you started writing those skits that went like crazy viral in the beginning? Man, so 
this is the one thing I would say. I wish I would have never got off social media. Cause I didn't got know it was on? Going, got off of it. Okay, oh. I wish I would have stayed on it. Cause like you said, I was going vi- I was going viral in 2009. Bro, you was early. going hella viral. Millions of views. Millions YouTube. of views early. You know, and this was this was before the buying days mm-hmm. and Instagram and Facebook. Like was they even paying like that? Back no. Then? No. My my shit would get on. That's how I found out what World Star was. That's how mm-hmm. I found out what, what this is fit. Because my shit was getting put on those platforms. It was like, yo shit on World Star. Like, man, what the fuck is a world, world star? star right? <laughs> you know, I was I, I sounded like an old nigga like, like, ain't paying me. I'm <laughs> boosting back. Get my money, man. I got my video off that, man. Niggas ain't paying me, man. That's fuck, I'm losing bad ass. You know, so I was fucking. Dunk with your dick out for a thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> It is permeated <laughs> to the secret. You know it's over. Oh my God, I never in life. Bro, we gotta start this over. Damn, you <laughs> get on the dick train joke. <laughs> on the dick train. <laughs> oh no, you gotta dunk with the dick I know. <laughs> Somebody draw a silhouette. Hey, Come nah, on, now y'all gotta draw a silhouette. Time, I'm telling you, boy. Just the last time. So, <laughs> don't be like that. I'm boosting bad ass. So, <laughs> so, 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 so no, so this this is what the fuck happened. So. I started writing. I used to like write scripts like in high school. Okay. Like just, I never finished them, but I used to just like, and then a uh, Roger, you know, I write some bullshit. <laughs> so then when I went to Which LA. I never finished. Yeah, I never finished that shit. So when I went to LA and YouTube was like starting to come up, I was like, yo, I got to be seen somehow. I was mm-hmm. like, well, shit. My homeboy told me about YouTube. I was like, well, let's just shoot some sketches. I didn't really write out the sketches. It was kind of like I just had the idea. And then we would kind of improv, like, what would happen beat on by set. beat. Yeah, yeah, and so And so that's kind of how the, the YouTube stuff came along. But I got off of it because I wasn't booking no acting roles. And so I went to high school for acting. And I was like, yo, I'm like, man, I fucking went and trained to be an actor. I moved to L.A. to be an actor, not to be, like, a YouTube. Because back then... If you was a YouTube comedian, you was a trash ass nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. that's, man, we used to look, we used to look yeah. down at that shit. We was like, you, on, you was an online comedian. Like we was yeah. looked look down on that shit. Right. So I was like, I didn't move out here to be no online comedian. And so I stopped, and then I started booking movies and TV shows. Mm-hmm. But then the internet kept going, YouTube, and then Vine, and then these motherfuckers started growing all these big ass mm-hmm. fan bases. Now they selling out <coughs> arenas and and, yeah. and and theaters and all type of yeah, shit yeah. like that, mm-hmm. and you know, yeah, you know, I'm fucking doing an open mic. I'm writing half day too. No, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but it ain't the same. And so, yeah. and and that's what I learned. I always tell people what I learned from doing MacGyver was, I love stand up more than acting. I, all, I, I always used to think it was the same. Mm-hmm. Like, people used to ask me, like, which one you love more? And I used to be like, man, it's the thing, man. <laughs> it's like children, your child. Mm-hmm. And, then, <laughs> and then season by four or five happened. And I was like, I, I need to be on, I need to get yeah. on the stage. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I need to be able to get on stage. I need to be able to say what I want to say. So I still love acting, mm-hmm. but I still realized, like, what my genuine happy place was. Okay. And when I realized that, I was like, well, I got to get back to building my fan base. Yeah. I was like, I got to get back on social media, and I need mm-hmm. to start back putting out this content. Um, so I could build that fan base, so I could go back on the road. Yeah, I thought because I was gonna say one thing I learned from a guy was how to start a car with a spoon. I sit over here holding my laptop. <laughs> See one thing I learned from a guy was with a spoon. I start a car. Yeah, man. Oh shit! But you got your podcast popping right now too. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. Fuck your feelings. Fuck podcast. your feelings. You know what I'm talking a lot about the Hollywood life, and I think it's dope and introspective from what I seen you post. What made you do that? Yeah, man, man. Two reasons, man. One, um, so when I was I was here in Atlanta for a while filming, but for five seasons, five years doing MacGyver, right? Mm-hmm. And I felt like there was becoming a, a <laughs> I, I felt like there was like a disconnect between me and my my peers in mm-hmm. L.A. Like mm-hmm. I wasn't really around them, I wasn't seeing them. You see, and you I, Hollywood five years, Justin. Yeah. Five years going off them stages is a long time. And five yeah. years going off them stages you died. too. But I did. <laughs> you know what I'm but, saying? Like niggas like, nah, you know Justin. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, no, but for real though. <laughs> he gone. And, and I, but the real, the, the truth of it was like, it was like I didn't want them. I think sometimes they would feel like I didn't fuck with them. I didn't want them mm-hmm. to think you, vice versa. For sure. And I was like, no, nah, I was like, I need to create a, a platform where me and all the people that I think are funny, we could all get together, kick it. Have a have a cool place to just talk shit about entertainment or whatever the fuck we want to talk about, yeah. mm-hmm. and I wanted to get different people perspectives too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted it not just be me, but I was like, let me get three of my favorite comedians. It's called Fuck Your Feelings, mm-hmm. you know. And I was like, let me get three of my favorite comedians every episode, and we just talk shit 
you know, we could get different perspectives. We could put each other up on game. Mm-hmm. I feel like we'd be dropping gems on there, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, and so people could really, like, learn and laugh from that podcast. And so, yeah, man, it's, it's doing if you're good. An Atl- if you're an Atlanta comedian especially, I suggest that you watch it, check them out, follow them, because it gives you a lot of insight. A lot of people have a lot of stories and stuff about auditioning, yeah, which is man. something that a lot of comedians out here don't get a chance to do. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, it's, a, it's big for the actors here. I, be, mm-hmm. I follow a lot of actors, and I just know a lot of actors from being in stuff. And they be getting down on auditions, but like out in LA, comedians be getting down on auditions. But out here, niggas do not be getting down on auditions. So it's it's, it's good. It's in, in <clears throat> insightful, introspective. All them, all those uh, SAT words. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, man. Sure. Fuck your feelings, man. So it's going.